Today's the day I'm flying on the brand new Qatar Q Suite from London through to Doha. It was released earlier this year and it sets a new standard in, uh, in business class. They've got these quad seats in the middle and there are four of us flying. So we're, uh, we're going to give it the full test and, uh, and see if it lives up to the marketing hype. I think it will and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. A quick shout out to uh, squarespace.com who are also sponsoring this video. More on that and, the, uh, and my new website at the, uh, at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's check in, head to the lounge and then fly to Doha. Qatar departs from Heathrow Terminal 4, where it has its own lounge. I really like this lounge. The staff were great, as was the food, coffee, restaurant and bar. It's time to fly. Let's go. Just as we were walking to the gate, the earlier flight, QR4 on the A380, was pushing back for departure. Thanks Thank yourself. you. I'm going to assist with your seats. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Welcome aboard. I know this is going to be a great flight. Cheers. The Q Suite business class cabin on the Qatar 777 is laid out in a 1 2 1 configuration. Each seat is a mini cabin with its own door. The seats in the middle are grouped in lots of four, so are brilliant if you are travelling like I was with family. Within each group of four, two seats face backwards and are set close together, and two seats are set further apart. To create the open quad pod, as I call them, the crew lower and open all the dividers between the four seats so that it creates an open space where you can all see each other. We run a family travel business together and had just come out of a conference in London. These seats were therefore perfect for us to catch up and talk shop. If you're not travelling in a group of four, the dividers can be raised and these middle seats still have a great level of privacy. Obviously for couples, the best seats are those two in the middle right next to each other. This seat is fantastic. It's definitely the best business class seat I've flown. Once your cabin door is closed, you have a similar sense of privacy as you have on Emirates First Class. The colour palette is warm and inviting and everything is designed with practicality in mind. The seat itself is very comfortable and there is plenty of legroom. All controls are within easy reach as is the power socket and USB port. Storage is provided next to you for your laptop, books and magazines. There is also a larger storage compartment next to the seat. This is where you'll find your noise cancelling headphones, a water bottle and a place to put your mobile phone. The tray table comes out from just under the TV. It's large, sturdy and easy to use. Once up in the air and settled in, the best thing about these seats though is the fact that you can close the door and lose yourself in a book or watch a movie in your own private cocoon. After takeoff, we enjoyed a drink from the bar, served with warm nuts of course. One of the things that I really like about Qatar is that they've got on-demand a la carte dining in business class, which means you can have anything off the menu at any time that you like. You choose the meal types. Um, when you're travelling long haul internationally, your body clock doesn't always match set meal times. And this, this shows that Qatar has got a great understanding for long haul business class travel. It's one of those small things that make a big difference and uh, I really appreciate it. Here's a good look at the Qatar menu and wine list for this flight. Feel free to skip ahead.
dinner, I started with the pea soup, whilst my brother had the Arabic mess it. I followed this with the feta and pumpkin salad, accompanied by a lovely glass of South Australian Shiraz. For mains, I went with the pasta. There wasn't a bad dish amongst them, they were all delicious. Then, purely for filming and research purposes, I had the ice cream dessert, it was delicious. After this, again only for filming purposes, I reluctantly ate some chocolates. You guys have no idea how much I suffer for these videos. Later in the flight, my brother discovered the snack menu and ordered some nice English scones with jam and cream. How's this for a small world? The cabin service manager, Sharifa, on this flight was exactly the same cabin service manager on the flight where I filmed the A350 review from Doha to Adelaide. Fantastic being back on board together. Thank you very much. You know, I can honestly say I've never ever had a bad Kazakh crew. They are fantastic. They're friendly, engaging, and their service is, uh, is second to none. It's uh, always a good flight on Qatar. Always on top. Thanks. The crew on this flight, as per all my other Qatar flights, were fantastic. It happened to be my parents' 49th wedding anniversary that day, and I had mentioned it at check-in. Before landing in Doha, the crew surprised us with cake and some bubbly. It was a really nice touch, which my parents absolutely loved. Qatar provides a high quality and well stocked amenities kit in business class. As an extra touch, on Q Suite flights, they provide a small travel pillow that you can take home with you. And even though the flights from London to Doha are only six and a half hours, on the Q Suite flights, PJs are available on request, and regular viewers will know how much I love my in flight PJs and airlines that provide them in business class. Look at this lovely looking, uh, lovely looking PJs, complete with matching slippers. Let's go and have an app. Once I'd changed into my PJs, it was time to check out the lay flat bed, which the crew had made up for me. It was very comfortable with a good amount of foot space and as a result, I slept solidly for a couple of hours. After my nap, I didn't have much time to use the in-flight entertainment system, but generally the Qatar system is very good with plenty of choices. The system can be controlled with a touch screen and a remote. One interesting thing to note though, is that whilst this aircraft featured the latest Q-Suite business class seats, it was not Wi-Fi enabled. That was absolutely fantastic flight. When Qatar first launched this new Q suite, they said that it would rival other airlines first class. I, uh, I'd agree with them. This is pretty much as close as you're going to get to first class traveling in business class. In terms of space, privacy, the onboard service, fantastic. Couldn't fault it. Now, I also got to say that I consider myself very, very lucky. And if I ever get to the stage where I take this sort of stuff for granted, that's the day I stop flying. It was a fantastic experience and one that I'm very, very grateful for. Doing the uh, the four pod was just added uh, added a new dimension to the flight and made it a lot of fun. It's uh, it's if you happen to be with four of you and travelling on those suites, it's uh, certainly the way to go. Now, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel. There's a whole load of other videos there, flight reviews in economy, business, and first class, and a lot more on the way. As always. Happy travels. Don't forget to go to squarespace.com slash Dennis to get your free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace award-winning templates are the most beautiful way to present your ideas online and are flexible enough for any type of website. I'm using it to create my own Dennis Bunny Travels website featuring blog posts and my travel photos from around the world. Squarespace's all-in-one platform makes it easy with nothing to install, patch or upgrade ever. 
I'm new to this and I've been very impressed by the step-by-step -step guidance provided. Look out for my website coming soon. In the meantime, start your own free trial at squarespace.com slash Dennis.